MBBS is all about a marathon, not a sprint. And just by clearing the next exam in line, you are not going to be able to remember and retain the information for for the long run. Hello everyone, my name is Siddharth, and I'm a medical intern here in India. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about life in a MBBS college. how to manage studies and how to enjoy along with it congratulations to all the neat uj aspirants who got into their dream college or managed to get into a seat of their choice some of you will continue living at home but some of you will have to go to the hostel but don't worry it's going to be fun nevertheless being in a mbbs college is not all about studying but also enjoying along with it this period of life is one of the best times and with a minimal responsibility possible the only main responsibility you have is to study and get good grades on your exams that being said you will have to study most days of the year but not the whole day just uh, around 3 to 4 hours after college uh, throughout the year will be good enough to make your life easy during exam season i've made a video on different study techniques that you can use to study in med school and uh, i will put it somewhere here or in the description another thing that you will realize in a medical college is that uh, all the students around you are just like you they are above average students who feel that they are under average students after the first few exams in the college but just remember that the um, exams in medical college demand very different things from what need you just demanded it's okay to feel out of place the best way to overcome is this by understanding the exam pattern of your college and uh, how to get on top of it and you can do it by asking your seniors or trying to find a mentor that will help you and guide you through the whole uh, journey it is very important to find a senior or a mentor who will help you throughout the years and it's because they have a lot of experience over the past few years and they have already been in your position before so they know how to get out of it easily so the main thing that i'm trying to say is that studying should definitely be on the uh, top of your priority list and the first few years of mbbs are like a base for the clinical subjects like medicine and surgery and if your anatomy is weak you won't be able to understand the surgical concepts and uh, you'll have problem understanding it The thing that I learned with MBBS was that before MBBS I used to rely mostly on my ability to solve problems naturally but per in MBBS not none of that will work because you have to do the hard work and you will realize that a lot of people around you have more knowledge or are doing better on exams and it's because they are doing more hard work and they are consistent with it MBBS is all about a marathon not a sprint and just by clearing the next exam in line you are not going to be able to remember and retain the information for for the long run So the first year subjects are anatomy physiology and biochemistry so let's talk about anatomy first because i think it's one of the difficult subjects in first year MBBS and you should make the most out of the dissection lab if your college has one because this is the only time that you will be able to learn anatomy in a real life setting and by moving around the structures and uh, actually seeing what it is like in a human body once you see the structures it is easy to visualize them when you are studying from a book with 2d pictures the book that i followed was the b d chorister for gross anatomy and uh, vishram singh for neuroanatomy and uh, i'll be seeing for both histology and embryology uh, next is physiology this subject is uh, all about concepts and understanding it it's mostly about the body physiology and the, and the mechanisms that are behind it if your college has some practical classes on physiology then you should definitely attend all of them and understand the physiology by seeing the practical class so that uh, you understand it better and practical knowledge is always better than just theoretical knowledge and this subject forms the base of medicine and it's much easier to understand medicine if you know what the normal physiology is the book that i used was guyton and uh, the resource that i would recommend using is uh, bodes and beyond and it's a usmle resource and it has uh, concise videos on all the physiology topics and the last one for first year mbbs is biochemistry 
and this was a little difficult for me because uh, biochemistry is all about memorizing the cycles and uh, all the mechanisms that go on in the body and the way to make biochemistry more meaningful and interesting is by using the USMLE step one resource that I talked about goes in beyond videos uh, it also has a biochemistry section and it has a great cl uh, clinical correlation with biochemistry cycles and what are the important topics in that. And the book that I used was uh, Satya Narayan. So if you use Satya Narayan with Poets and Beyond videos and make different notes for it, I think it would be a good way to study biochemistry. So we are done with the studying part of first year MBBS and now we can focus on uh, the other things beyond studies. Having an activity that brings you joy or that you enjoy is very important in college life because it can get very monotonous during the college days with the same study routine and the same college routine. Having that time away from studies will make you more productive when you are studying. The most important thing is to put this in your calendar that you need to do something that you enjoy every day. And uh, I talk about how to be productive and the different 5 steps that you can follow to be productive. And I'll put some uh, tags over here or uh, I'll put the link in the description. This activity can be any sports like basketball, football or just running. And the problem is that many colleges don't have the equipment or don't have the ground for you to play. But uh, you'll have to find some way around it and try to play outside of your college. Some colleges will have the facilities and the grounds for you to play. And uh, you should definitely make the most out of it. And if you don't know any sports, then maybe you can try learning something new. I used to play basketball before I entered college and I was a nationals player. But my college, GMC Kolhapur, does not have a basketball court. So I had to switch to football and running. And football is easier because you can just find a turf to play on. The activity can also be a hobby like singing or playing a musical instrument. And uh, I got into playing the guitar during the COVID-19 lockdowns because uh, we were not allowed to go outside our home and play any sports. Another thing you can do is read books like uh, Think Like a Monk or uh, Atomic Habits. And uh, you must be wondering why am I recommending more books to read after reading medical textbooks the whole day. These are some of the best books and the must read books for everyone. They will teach you a lot of things about life and you can read them on days like a Sunday where you decide not to study and just relax or on days when you feel like relaxing inside rather than going out. Taking care of your mental and physical wellness during the whole of MBBS is very important and there will be some days when you feel down or when you feel like you are in an endless cycle of just studying, going to college, coming back, studying and those are the days when you should take a day off and do some of the activities that we talked about earlier or do something else that makes you happy. You have to be mindful of the activities that you do especially when you are living away from home and you have a lot more freedom. I will be honest with you that there are a lot of harmful and uh, addictive activities that happen in hostels and you should be aware of them and not be addicted to things like alcohol and marijuana or weed. There are just certain things that a 16, 17 year old don't understand about moderation and how to enjoy these things rather than being addicted to it. And there is the reason why there is an age limit on things like alcohol because uh, young people don't understand the moderation concept and uh, there's nothing wrong with doing it as long as you know that your first priority is to study and none of it affects it. Okay, so the next thing is eating healthy and the right food and this will be a little difficult if you are living away from home but there are some ways by which you can figure out what things to do. The thing is that this will directly affect your mental function and the level of concentration that you can maintain while studying. And the next thing that I want to talk about is traveling. Travel the most you possibly can like after exams or, or during a long weekend. Make the most of the college trips and enjoy them fully. This is a period of your life that is never going to come back. I hope when you look back at it you can remember all the happy times that you had and all the memories that you created. I went for a lot of trips during this period of time and the most recent ones were my medical exchanges to Brazil for a rotation in the obstetrics and gynecology department 
and do Poland for research in the anti-cancer potential of nanoparticles and I thoroughly enjoyed them. Both of these exchanges were for one month each and I talk about them in my previous videos. And that's it for this video. I hope all the new MBBS students have some uh, guidance on how to study during MBBS and also enjoy. Share this video and hit the like button. And if you guys want me to make a video on some specific topic, you can leave it in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next one.